Hi everybody, it's Claire from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot coming to you for a monthly reading for November and it's a romance reading for the sign of Gemini. I've decided to go with a different deck this month. You have to give your decks a rest once in a while so I'm giving my other tarot deck a rest and decided to go with Doreen Virtues, the Romance Angels Oracle deck. Okay, and uh, I really think this is a lovely deck. It's used by a lot of people. I haven't used it a lot, so I may have to ref I have to go back to the book to get like specifics on each card. But I'm going to use my um, intuition for the most for as much as I can. So don't crucify me for that. So okay, so the very first card I pulled here is calling in your soulmate. Okay, if you are manifesting, it's working. Okay, they're listening. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual, visu I cannot say this word, visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so if you've been doing this, it's working. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you need. Tell them what you desire, and they will bring it for you. Your angels are working for you. Just ask. That's all you have to do. They won't do anything for you until you start asking, and when you do, it's unbelievable. It's a miracle. It has happened to me. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the book where it says calling in your soulmate. All right, you like everyone have soulmates. These are people with whom you shared time in heaven and in other lives. You made a soul agreement to meet in this lifetime for the purpose of mutual spiritual growth. You have many such agreements with various people who are all your soulmates. These include friends, family members, co-workers and romantic partners. The, this card guides you to actively call your romantic soulmate into your life. You can do so through a prayer, affirmations, and visu, visu, there's that word again, visualizations. It also means working on yourself so that you epitomize the qualities you're seeking in a partner. For instance, if you desire a significant other who's got a great sense of humor, develop this within yourself. Like attracts like, which is part of calling in your soulmate. Okay, so there's your first card. It's a very lovely card and it's very promising. They're working for you guys, all you Geminis out there. Okay, so that's the first card. And look at that, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. If you're doing this already, they're, they're working on it. Okay, it's worth waiting for. So be patient. All right, so let's just see what that says for worth waiting for. All right, your soulmate relationship requires patience as there are many factors involved. Your soulmate's free will choices are beyond you or your angel's control, as is the readiness of both of you for true love. It has to be perfect timing, okay? And it will be. This card comes to you as a reminder that this relationship is worth waiting for. Divine timing is a universal law that is always in operation. It is the flow of everything. If we try to impose our human will and force things to happen, we become out of sync with nature and experience blockages. So don't fret. When will I meet my soulmate? And then you worry and then the energy is put out in the universe. The romance angels have heard and answered your prayers for a soulmate and they are working behind the scenes to bring this to you. Your role is to listen to and follow your intuition, even if it seems unrelated to your desire. Your intuition is like a guide dog leading you along the path of answered prayers. Follow your intuition and the trust and trust in the timing of the relationship. Okay? So hang in there. This person is worth it. All right? It's perf this person is perfect for you. So there's the second one. Okay. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay? So see what it says here this could be the one this card signals that you've already met the person you romantically seek perhaps you're already in a relationship with him or her the romance angel send you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship sometimes you may overlook someone who meant for you who's meant for you because you have a different idea of what your partner should look like or act Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person to come to mind is probably the one. Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partner. During sleep, you've, you're more open to angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clearer sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called to based on your inner guidance, even if it seems unrelated to your love life. 
Trust that angels are leading you toward the one you desire. All right. So the very first card here is calling in your soulmate. Okay. All right. Second one is worth waiting for. And the third is it, it could be the one. So for all of, any of you that have already manifested for you Geminis. Okay. I just want to also say that this is a general reading. So there are thousands and, and millions of you Geminis out there. Okay. If this does not resonate with you or if it doesn't make sense for you, you know what? Just take it, take what does. So what they're saying is that they're working for you. They're, you have to call in your soulmate. They will come. They're worth waiting for. For any of you that have already found this person, this person could be the one. All right. So if you're asking if the person that you meet is the one that you're that you're with right now, yes, this could be the one. You've met your romantic partner, okay? For the others that are are waiting for this to happen, you know what? Maybe you've already met that person and you just haven't recognized it. Okay? Might not be the one, you know, might maybe he's not tall enough for you, but maybe he's a cool guy. Maybe he's a funny guy. You know, maybe for men, maybe she's just not blonde enough for you or tall enough for you or thin enough. But that could be the one person. You have to keep your options open. You can't just have a tunnel vision of you want tall, dark and handsome, green eyes, you know, well built. So anyway, uh, so that is your card. That is your reading, your romance reading for the month of November for Gemini's. I want to take a minute and thank everybody for all of your support for the subscript, all the people who subscribe. I cannot believe how many people have subscribed to my channel. It's unbelievable. I uh, cannot, I am so grateful for all the comments, for the understanding, the support that you've given me. I do this for you. I don't take this lightly. This is not a joke to me. This is serious. Okay? And anybody that comes to this channel, I hope is serious too. I've helped a lot of people along the way. And that is what I'm here for, is to help. And make people see things that they haven't seen before. To be able to see things clearer. Okay? That's why I called my channel clear path guidance because I want you to understand where other people are coming from I want you to understand um, why you do the things that you do okay and I am an empath I can read people's energies I can read animals energies if you have a question about a loved one what loved one why they're behaving the way they are and you're taking it personally I can help you with that I am hooked up to PayPal now, so I'm taking personal readings. If anybody's interested in that, it's $25 for a reading. So I really hope that all you Geminis have a really good November. It looks like that. It, by these cards, it will be. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for loving my channel. And thank you for all of your support. Have a great November.